Hello YouTube, Blue Cube Vacuums here. I have something pretty cool here in this huge box that just showed up on my porch. Uh, apologies for the uh, shitty camera work. It's literally, the box is so big I couldn't put it on the workbench. Uh, so I just had to put it on the floor in my unfinished basement. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get it out of the box here and then I'll put it on the workbench. It is a SIBO D4 air belt, which is something I've wanted for a really long time, uh, except they're stupid expensive. So this was quite possibly the cheapest one I've ever seen on OfferUp uh, of all places. And the guy was really cool. I messaged him and he was like, yeah, I'll ship it to you because he was down in Florida. Uh, the shipping was kind of, exp the shipping was actually the same price as what I paid for the vacuum itself. So uh, the shipping is relatively expensive, but it's still a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what these go for new. Uh, so as I said earlier, we'll just pull it out of the box and then move it to the workbench. This is sort of a first impressions video uh, and just see exactly what I got here. I've only seen two pictures of this thing ever on OfferUp. It should be the Black Onyx edition, um, which supposedly gets you a better warranty or something. I gotta look at that. Now this does not have the ET1 power nozzle with it. That was the one downside. Uh, and that's probably something I'll get later. But it is at least the canister uh, and the hose as well as the, the really basic hard floor tool, which I'm not a fan of and I'll probably get the other, uh, like the parquet twister thing at some point. Styrofoam. I will say it did a really good job of packing this up. That's a nice of them. Oh, it's got the, I hate these things, okay. Uh, and I think it may be upside down, so. There's the hose. Throw all the stuff off of it. does have the speed control on it which is pretty cool this is SIBO's full-size canister it's been out for a really good while now it's I guess newer than the K series but older than the E series like the new E3 I think but I may be wrong about that too I don't know a whole lot about SIBO this is my first SIBO ever there's the basic hard floor tool uh, I'm not a fan of this hard floor tool, honestly, and it kind of bugs me that they still include it with a $1,200 something dollar vacuum. Uh, I just don't think it's a very good design because the brush is in the front. Let me pull it out here and show you what I mean. Yeah, it's super, super basic. You just got your wheels there. Uh, and then I don't like the brushes in the front because all it does is just push stuff around. I think, I don't know, if these were removable, uh, and you can do that on the parquet thing where you can take the front brushes out. It acts much, much, much better than the original design. So, But you can see you have your quick release thing there uh, with the button, which is really nice. But yeah, that's that. Super basic. Finally, you have the unit itself. I think he said he included extra bags as well, uh, which is nice of him because I don't have any bags for this thing. And then we can unbox it here. What is the? Oh, this is the one. Here. I forgot Sibo uses plastic wands as well. But there's that. It's actually pretty heavy. Oh, uh, how do you touch the screw plate? Oh, I see. It. Okay. That's a pretty nice... Nice action on it. Not a whole lot of play. There's the electrical connection. And... Looks like it's three pins? No, it's two pins. Okay. The only thing I'm bummed about is um, you have to use the ET1 with this. You can't just put on like whatever power nozzle you want. 
Um, I've never used an ET one. People say it cleans pretty well. Obviously, people use them with central vacuums and stuff. Um, but I'm partial to Wessel work stuff, so I would just, if I could, I'd stick like an EBK 360 on this. And I think that's the top, but I have no idea. This thing is really, really packaged up well. All of the tools. Okay, good. I think, unless they're in the box, I gotta check. Oh shit. So there it is, the D4. It's kind of scratched off, I'm not gonna lie, but that is kind of, you get what you pay for. It's pretty dirty too. I gotta take this thing apart and give it a wash. It's not as heavy as I thought it would say. I mean, I've, I've seen people on the forums and say, saying this thing is like unwieldy. Um, I don't know if it's because I've used like a Fairfax for really long, so I don't really get bothered by those things anymore, but yeah. There's that. Swivel casters. Oh, what is this? Is that tape? Okay, it's tape. There's your weird filter thing. I'll take this over to the workbench. To really look at this thing. Button. Cord rewind. Cool. And there is a bag in it, too. Yeah, there's a new bag in it. That's nice one. Yeah, all these filters are going to need to be changed. Okay. Yeah, let's go over to the workbench, and then we can uh, have a closer look at this thing. Okay, so I have it here, and I plugged it in because I don't... I mean, he said it worked, but, you know, we'll see for sure. So, I, I don't think you need the hose connected. I'm just going to... Yeah. Alright, yeah, okay. It's quiet. I mean, I kind of expected that, but I, and I guess that's full power. I don't know. Um, cool. It doesn't, it has a little bit of a smell to it, but it's not like that bad. I, I really, I mean, I'm going to wash this thing anyway. Um, I've seen exactly one disassembly video from performance reviews, so uh, it doesn't seem terribly difficult to get a part either. So I'm just going to power wash it. <clears throat> uh, here's the bag. It's like the same. Okay. It's like somewhere in between a Henry and a Mila. A Mila is a, like definitely thicker, um, but yeah, that's pretty nice. There's the air button. This thing is pretty cool though. I didn't expect it to feel like that. It is like very soft. I can't see anything getting damaged by that. Um, yeah, the tools, that's gonna be kind of a problem. Um, I didn't, I should have asked him. I didn't even ask him if it had the tools. Um, I don't know. I assume when vacuums have like built-in storage with the tools, people are inclined to put them back, but I guess not. Um, can you shut me out this thing? No. Okay, cool. Put this back. Uh, I guess it goes... I guess it goes... Oh, I see. It. Okay, cool. So this is the... And this is why this thing is so cool. Let me adjust the camera. This is really one of the cool things about this vacuum. It sucks air from the top, right? Instead of the back or the bottom or whatever. So you have this huge filter up here. This one, this is a pre-motor. Um, that's gonna be need to be changed at some point, but cool. And then the other, let me put this one back because it's got one more in the bottom. So just... sort of and then you got this one down here too this weird like gnome hat thing that's black okay yeah that, that one's gonna definitely have to be changed that's your weird pre-motor thing or, i'm sorry post-motor filter and there is debris in there so i guess at one point this was used without a bag um <clears throat> because I can't really see anything getting through that, so, yeah. Four swivel casters, like I said earlier. 
Oh, and the, uh, what's it called, too? The bag check indicator up here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so this is just the first look of this thing. Uh, I just kind of wanted to see what I got for the money. Um, I'm still pretty pleased with it. I just need to clean it up a little bit. Um, and then get the tools, get the power head. And then we can do some um, c comparisons and stuff like that. What did it say? Yeah, oh, 200 watt. Okay. There you go. So there's the SIBO D4 uh, air belt premium in the black onyx edition. Um, let me know. I mean, I'll probably keep, they make these in a bunch of different patterns and stuff. I like this one. So I'll probably just get another of these. Um, you take this off, like I've seen it before done with this way, but it seems kind of involved. So I'll do that later. Um, I guess you can just wash this too, but I don't know. So there's that. Um, you'll definitely see this on the channel more as I kind of put it, piece it back together and get it back to the way it was supposed to be. So there's the D4 premium.